What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here today with another fun and exciting video. Disc golf sports cards are back. The season just ended up with the Tour Championship this past weekend. And we have the all-new Brixton 2023 Hobby Boxes that are releasing this week. Uh, and you guys should be getting those if you've ordered them already. You should be getting those in the mail soon. I've been working with Brixton a lot uh, with this release and their previous release, the Golden Era, just to try to get people uh, more knowledgeable on the products that are disc golf sports cards, but also just the excitement around the product as well. So I've been working with them, awesome company to work with, uh, and I'm gonna kind of explain a lot of things that Brixton is currently doing that we don't really actually see with panini or even with tops uh first one being the price point the price point on these 79.99 msrp uh, you can pick them up still at brixtondiscgolf.com if you are interested and before we even get into it let me just let you know right now we're opening two of these things today so that is about 160 dollars worth of product one of these boxes i haven't decided which one yet we're giving away every card Every card that we pull out of one of these boxes, we are going to be giving away on our Whatnot show, which is going live tomorrow, Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern. We will be doing a break with, I believe, six of these boxes. And uh, like I said, tons of giveaways, including every card. We're just going to say right here, every card out of this right box. This right box, that's the giveaway. We'll open up that one at the end. Uh, but very excited to be doing a lot of fun stuff with Brixton. Now let's talk about the box itself. We are looking for eight packs per box, five cards per pack for a total of 20 cards here. The checklist on this, it's a 146 player checklist. There are 142 base cards. Four players though are going to be in those rookie, uh, like have rookie inserts or autos but don't actually have a base card. So technically there's 146 players, but 142 is the actual uh, checklist on it. You're gonna be pulling out on-card autos, event used fabric, disc relics, so discs that are actually coming out of players' bags, uh, as well as 15 plus total parallels and also 12 plus total subsets, um, including there. You can also see on the front, this has a nice little Paul Macbeth Legacy Series, which we'll get into here in a, a second. Uh, what should you expect from each box? Each box will contain, on average, eight parallels per box, eight chase uh, cards per box, and two premium cards per box. We'll get into what those are really here in a second as well. Um, and uh, the other thing I want to mention, too, is some of the big rookies. This is the 2023 class. So some of the big names in that rookie class, you're looking at Joseph Anderson, a.k.a. Joey Buckets, Luke Taylor, Jake Wolf, and Paul Parker Welk are going to be the big names coming out of that 2023 class. Now I'm going to rip into this just so we can see a little bit more because I think this is awesome and I would love, I know tops, you can go online and see some of this stuff, but I love that they actually put uh i'll show you the back here too just showing you some of the players on here obviously it's going to be all the big names um on there but i love this look how sick this is it shows you the per pack odds now again tops does this but it's a little bit harder to find so you can see exactly what are the chances of pulling this stuff is so we'll start with the parallels first there are four uh i think there's actually five parallels they um left off there's a disc golf pro tour i think parallel as well but Brixton, one and two packs. Wonderbread, one and seven. Throjos, one and 13. Disco, one and 27. Your chase cards, you have the Roots insert, one out of three, every three packs. Roots gold, that is going to be numbered, I believe, to 10. That's one out of every 60 packs. Silos, one out of nine. Tokyo's one out of 10. Tokyo Midnight, one out of 100. The Rookie Showcase is one out of six. And remember the name is one out of eight now we're moving over on to the premium these are the big boy cards we've got the rookie showcase auto one out of 14 rookie showcase gold one out of 107 remember the name auto one out of 20 
Remember they name auto one uh, gold one out of 160 and scripted. These are the autos uh, I believe from all the players. That's gonna be one out of 33 and scripted gold one out of 60. Brixton elite one out of 111. Brixton elite gold one out of one uh, 333. Centerpiece one out of 27. Collections one out of 321. And me and Yuli the collections that is I believe a dual card. So I believe me and Paul Yulberry have a collections card, both with uh, game use discs. So that will be a fun chase for us as well. Again, this is all things uh, as far as averages go. When we're going down here a little bit, the Paul Macbeth Leg Legacy Series, this is really the chase, chase, chase. This is what you're after. The Legacy is going to be 1 out of 25. Legacy Gold, 1 out of 303. The Focus, 1 out of 30. Focus Gold, 1 out of 610. Legacy Centerpiece, 1 out of 637 packs. Now we get to the good stuff. Decade of Dominance. This is the card. I'll pop it up on the on the YouTube video here so you can see. This is the card that kind of um, showcases or gives a little uh, homage to Paul McBeth's last 10 years, last decade of Dominance. That's going to be 1 out of 7,200 packs. And then we have the Decade of Dominance Gold, 1 out of... 72,000 packs and then I believe there is the one of one which I want to say I could be wrong I want to say that's 133 packs 33,000 or one in 330,000 I can't I can't remember exactly what it was but it's a big one enough talking Brody let's get to ripping here we go just want to give a little great breakdown and uh because the golden era that was the other product we've opened on here. Um, the Golden Air, also here, if you want to look here, you can follow Brixton on their socials as well. You can show their cards. I think they have something too coming up where they're doing some giveaways and stuff over on their whatnot, so definitely check that out. But they also have stuff where if you rip this stuff and have good pulls, I think you can tag Brixton Breaks or hashtag something online, you might win something as well. But I wanted to go a little bit more into detail with this product because this is uh, half the price of Golden Era. So Golden Era, you're pulling autographs out of every single box. You were pulling big cards. That was because it was an expensive box and the print run of that was a lot less. Think of this more of, it's, not, it's in a blaster format box wise, but think of it more like a mega box. That's what we're really looking at here. This is more like a mega box because even when you look at the odds for like autos, right? The... Um, the auto here for inscripted is one out of 33 packs and there are going to be uh, eight packs per box, right? So on average, one out of every four of these boxes, you're going to pull an auto. So think about it that way. It's more of like a mega box. I still think it's got better odds as far as pulls go uh, than a mega box. But let's take a look. Let's enjoy this here. Disc Golf Baby, Evelina Solonen. Uh, so it looks like we're going to have Brixton down below, and we're going to have the PDGA number up top. And on the back, we are, let's see, what do they have on here? I was curious to see if they are going to put the sponsor of the player, because a break I wanted to do was a manufacturer break. So that would be obviously a lot easier for me sorting everything if it actually told you that Evelina is sponsored by Innova. Um or Dismania, or Discraft, or whoever they're sponsored by, that would be a lot easier for me. I think tonight's or tomorrow night's break, we're going to do a player break. So we're going to throw up every single player that you can be possibly pulled. So for example, Evelina will get thrown up there, and then you just bid whoever wins every Evelina card we get pulled, we pull out of it, you get that. So I think that's what we'll probably do for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I like it. These are cool little cards. I, I think it's kind of cool. You got the nature in the background. Very cool. Uh, different. And these are also paper. So these are thin paper cards too. They're not the chrome or thick stock as well. They might be coming out with a chrome product uh, in the future. But we have the paper right here. We're going to take a little bit of time. We have our first. I think that's a Paul Macbeth card. Is that a legacy card? Uh, I'll keep the odds on here too so we can kind of see how rare some of this stuff is. Um, yeah, all right. We got our first focus. 
So this was Connor Rock here. We haven't pulled a rookie yet, or at least I don't think we have. I, or wait, is Connor Rock a rookie on this? No, he has stuff in 2022. Okay, we'll see if the rookies actually stand out. They have something. All right, our first look. This is the focus. This was um, one out of every 30 packs. So not a crazy rare hit, but very beautiful card though. Paul McBeth Legacy Series Focus. And our first uh, parallel, if you will, this is the Brixton parallel of Austin Hannum there. So pretty cool stuff. Very nice. First pack. I'm actually going to sleeve this one up. Remember, too, this box is the giveaway box. Every card I pull out of that box will be given away on the Whatnot Show. And a lot of these cards, too, guys, really... We're going to be giving away. We're going to be giving away a lot of stuff. I'm probably going to keep some of this, but like all these cards, we're, uh, I'll probably just give it away as well. So there'll be tons and tons of giveaways with this product. Very excited to be able to do that. Again, shout out to Brixton. And here we go. Our first one. Our first one. So it looks like I got the, um, the forehand here. With the white Nike hat, the Dark Horse logo there. All right, not too shabby. And uh, we'll sign this up too. I don't know. We'll we'll cut. We'll play around with it on the breaks to see how we want to do it. But we'll give this away as well. Actually, let's give this away on the YouTube. This will go out to someone on the YouTube. So shout out to uh, all you guys for subscribing, watching, liking. All you have to do to win this card: like the video down below and drop a comment. We'll pick one of you guys and we'll send this bad boy out to you guys is the first pull out of 2023 of myself there. But we'll do some cool stuff going forward on future uh, future cards of mine that I pull. All right, we have Albert Tam here. And Linus Carlson. And this is our first look of the Roots insert. Roots insert, that's going to be Sayananda. Very nice. Cool cool kind of insert. I wonder if they actually did take like our hometowns. And so Spokane Valley, Washington. Like I wonder if this is like a grid map of somewhere in Spokane, Washington. That would be very cool. If we, uh, I'm going to set this off to a side. And if we get another one of those, we can kind of compare and see if they're just the same design in the back. Or if they're actually a little bit different. But that, that's a good question I'll have. For, there's Emily Beach uh, on the Brixton as well. That's a good question I'll have on um, to Brixton is if that is something. Like just a little bit of a cool added feature. All right, we have Braden Sides here. Braden Sides. AJ Carey. Leah. And our first look at a rookie here. So this is the rookie insert of Remember the Name. Carter Ahern's remember the name rookie insert and a Joel Freeman on the Brixton. Okay, remember the name. That's our first rookie. So there's no uh, rookie. It doesn't look like there is any sort of rookie patch or anything on this uh, badge. But remember name is going to be one of the rookie inserts there. Let's keep it moving. All right, we have Bradley Williams here, Aiden Scott. Okay, so this is our first rookie base card. And so on the base card, they do have, they don't have a badge, but does just say rookie on there. So there you have it. That's how you'll be able to tell if, it's a, if they're a rookie card or not. And we did get an auto. We got an on-card auto to 30, Brixton Elite. On-card auto of Corey Ellis. Very nice. Um, Brixton Elite, that is going to be one out of 133 packs. So pretty rare. Pretty rare card there. That is kind of cool too. They have the player up highlighted and then you can see all the other big name players in the background there. So that is a cool card. And we have a rookie showcase. So this is another one of the... Uh, we've got two rookie inserts 
out of this product. Uh, remember the name and Rookie Showcase. Those are the two different kinds. This is Emily Yale Rookie Showcase there. Very nice. A little Coriolis. You know what? We're going to give this one away too. This will also be given away on the Whatnot Show. So we're, uh, we're starting to create... I'm basically just picking some of the cards I want to keep for the collection. And uh, everything else I'm just going to give away. Why not? Why not? I said one box. We, we might give away a box and like... We might give away two boxes except for a couple cards. <laughs> this is basically what we're doing. All right, here we go. Yona. Adam. Mm, there he is again, Corey Ellis. And a Roots. Okay, so let's give a little comparison here. Yeah, definitely different. Definitely different. That's Annika Sten. And that is uh, Norway. Hamar. Hamar, Norway. All right. And a uh, Jakob Simrod is going to be on the Brixton parallel there. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think of the product? Have Do you guys have boxes coming? How many boxes do you have? Are you guys going to go after watching and seeing this? Are you guys going to go out and pick up some of the product? Let me know what you guys think. And uh, let me know if you if this is the first time you've ever seen disc golf cards. There's my man, Gooseman. Connor Rock. Also, it looks like we get three, um, three base cards. And then your hit. And then a parallel on the back is what it looks like. There's a Matty O on the silo. That's kind of cool. Cool little card. I don't know if I would have chose this picture because it, it's a little blocky, but cool card. It's a little bit thicker stock too, which is nice. And our first look at the disco. That's a cool little insert. All right. A little disco time. Don't know the correlation between disco and disc golf other than disc is in the word. And maybe that's why they went with it. But there you have it. Disco. Tokyo, I think, is going to be the insert I'm going to want the most. I think that's the coolest looking one. Tokyo. Jessica Weiss. There's a Ben Wolf rookie there. Connor O'Reilly. And, wow, we got two autos in this box. Okay. I think this is pretty rare. Because this isn't scripted out of 50. Um... So that's one out of every 33 packs. And that's Vinyl Makala. That is actually kind of sick. With a Tomas on the back. Vinyl's kind of got a sick, uh, sick auto too there. Probably one of the most popular, if not outside of Kristen Tatar, probably one of the most popular uh, European players. Vinyl Makala. Very cool. Brixton Authentic Signature. 30 out of 50. On the inscripted. Cool card. Really cool card, actually. All right. Very nice. And our last pack in this box. Let's see what we get here. I think, I mean, again, first box. It's been a pretty good box. We've gotten two autos out of it. Um, pretty good box. Ben Calloway, Colton Montgomery. We'll pull from the back. Macy, so we only saw in this box, we only saw the Brixton parallel, which is the most common one, right? The Brixton parallel is one out of every two packs. Wonder Bread's one out of seven. Throw Joe's one out of 13. Disco, one out of 27. I guess we did get a Disco. We get another auto? No way. All right, I don't know what's going on here. We just got three autos in that box. I have no idea what's going on. That might have been, this might be the greatest box of all time. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we'll see. We're about to open the second one. Remember the name. This is our Aria Castoriti. I'm not super familiar with her. Um, nice auto though. And uh, also, I like I like these cards for the auto. Nice, nice little space right here for it. So that is a rookie. This will also be in the giveaway as well going over on whatnot so uh right now whatnot is having a load of giveaways so far so these will also be thrown in there too Anakin and Sai and let's see what is in the last box wow uh <laughs> these these might sell out immediately if we pull if we pull three autos out of this box these these might sell out real quick so make sure if you do want one yourself 
go pick some up. Otherwise, you can also just hop in our breaks over on whatnot. Because it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun. Chasing that one of one Paul Macbeth card. We have a lot of boxes coming. Uh, I think this show, we're only going to have six available. But we will have a lot more. And we'll, uh, we'll get crazy with it. We'll do player breaks. We might... Oh, man. I don't know if we can do manufacturer breaks. Because there, it would just take me so long to go and figure out all the different... Um, oh, my gosh. There was only two cards in that pack. Wow. Lucky and Bradley. Okay, now this... They did break up. They did just... Kind of an awkward card right now. Uh, they did just come out with a video about their breakup. But uh, there you have it. Our first look at the collections. Lucky and Bradley Williams. And you can see, I mean, this thing, that's got some texture to it, guys. That is a beat-up disc. Very cool. Oh, wow. Six out of ten. Oh, wow. This is... Wow, this is... Collections. One out of every 321 packs. I would assume this is actually very rare to get this. So, uh, wow. Someone lucky will be adding this to their collection. This will be, I mean, again, this whole box is going to be given away. Everything you see, given away. Goes nicely in a 100 point. Very nice. Okay. What a crazy first pack. What a crazy two boxes. Holy smokes. All right, we have Kale Visca, Andrew Presnell. Oh, we have a Wonder Bread. Oh my gosh, sick. All right, these, these are actually really fun to rip. Gavin Rathbun there on the roots. And a Wonder Bread of Luke Sampson. That's a cool card. That A lot of people are going to like this. People love, I mean, some people love the Wonder Bread stamp. Some people hate it. There are going to be some people that are going to be chasing that for a lot of players. Uh, Montgomery, Illinois from Gavin Rathbun there. I got to tell you, this is a, I mean, I obviously a little bit different because I know all these players, majority of them. So there's a little bit more of a connection there than if I was opening basketball or football. But this is fun, man. This is fun. Candace Burge, Andrew Miranda, that's also going to be one of the rookies in this class. There's another Kyle Klein. And to remember the name, wait, this is backwards. First backwards card. Hold on. Okay, not nothing crazy. Nolan Ramser, remember the name? I thought it might have been Audit or something. And an Emerson Keith on the Brixton. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep it moving. What else we got here? What else we got here? Alden Harris. Ooh, this... Oh, gosh. Okay. And... Nope. Can't do it. Rookie. I did watch her play one event. Can't remember what event it was. I think it was actually Beaver State Fling. No, it wasn't Beaver State Fling. What was it? Something recently. Shoot. Uh, Might have been actually GMC, potentially. But can't pronounce it. Sorry, apologies. And we're going to get another rookie showcase there of Emily Yale. I guess I should be flipping these over in case they are numbered. And a Kyle Klein. Was that other one numbered? Hold on, let me look. I won't be able to tell. No, not numbered. Okay. I was going to say, I don't know if I could really tell. Um, I don't know if I could really tell if, it, if it's numbered on the front or back. I don't know if there's a difference the way. Like, I don't know if this card looks differently if it's not numbered versus numbered. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. This one will go out on whatnot. We already did one for YouTube. This one will go out on whatnot. What not hype. There we go. The boys like that. All right, a little what not hype going out. The next one I'll probably keep for our kids. <laughs> probably should keep one for the kid for the future kiddos, you know? Have them uh, look, dad dad was on a card. That's pretty cool. Albert Tom, Corey Ellis, and we did get another auto. Wow. Jessica Weiss on the bricks and Carter Aarons. This kid had some really high potential. I'm not really quite sure what's going on. Might have made a little bit of a mistake 
going to um Oh gosh, Lone Star. It seemed like there were some issues there, but he was playing pretty solid. He had some good finishes. Uh, not really sure what happened to him. I don't know if he's still touring or whatnot. Um, but has a lot of talent. We'll see if he can figure it out. All right, keep going. Let's go with Braden Sides here. AJ Carey. Connor Rock. We'll pull from the back. It's going to be Ty La Love. All right. Ty Love with the Rookie Showcase. And, ooh. Ooh. A little Paul Macbeth silo. Paul Macbeth silo there. Someone will be very happy with that. That is cool how they did that with his hat, though. That is a nice little touch. Having the, his logo on the hat there. All right. Continue to go on. We only have two packs left. I don't even want this to finish. Man, Friday night can't come soon enough. This is going to be so fun to rip. Bradley Williams, Aiden Scott. We have a Connor O'Reilly on the back. We're going to have a Jake Wolf on the Brixton. And Tokyo, we get to see one. Ella Hansen, this is what I'm talking about. Look how sick this card is. These cards are really cool. Again, not really quite sure like the, the reasoning behind it. Why we're going Tokyo vibe, but very cool card. Ella Hansen there. All right, final pack. Come on. Show us another ink. Give us, give us one more auto card. Why not? We're going to have a Chantel Disco on the back. Okay, I get it. So that is the base. All right. I thought that was an insert. That's a parallel. A little confusing. One in 27 packs. A little confusing, but that is a parallel. It's not an insert. Yona. Adam. Colton. Ink? No. Evelina on the roots. All right. Evelina on the roots. Not too shabby. All right. Let's show off some of the big cards. These are the two cards I'll be keeping. Everything else we're giving away. I'm going to keep those two. And then everything else is given away. We got the Paul Macbeth silo. The Aaron's uh, remember the name. A little whatnot hype. To gold collections of Lucky and Bradley Williams. Area on the remember the name auto. Corey Ellis on the auto. And then a whole bunch of other cards as well. All of these will be given away on our whatnot stream. This Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Don't miss it. And remember, like the video. Comment down below. You might win this one. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We appreciate you all so much. And we'll see you in the next one. Keep ripping them packs.